हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो वी हैव कवर्ड अराउंड सिक्स वीडियोस फ्रॉम मॉड्यूल टू टिल नाउ ओके सो वी हैव लेफ्ट विद ओनली फ्यू कॉन्सेप्ट्स नाउ वन इज फॉर ट्रांसमिशन गेट डीसी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक प्लॉट uh by using the transmission gate how the resistance characteristic plot would be looking like when we compare the plots of nmos as well as pmos what is the final dc characteristic plot we are obtaining that we are going to see in this video and in the next video one more video that is there is one more concept le left that is cmos latch up okay that we are going to see in the next video so only two concepts are left now that i am going to cover it uh, in a quick amount of time okay with this we are going to complete module 2 as well okay so now let us uh, discuss with this video now in this video we are going to briefly discuss about the functioning of transmission gate dc characteristic plot okay first let us see the definition of transmission gate a transmission gate is also called as a complementary switch is a cmos based switch that allows both logic 1 and logic 0 pass through with minimal voltage degradation it is made using one nmos and one pmos transistor as shown in this figure okay so see this figure here here the pmos and nmos transistors are connected in a branch here where the we have two gate voltages one is uh, g and g bar okay and uh, the drain and source terminals are uh, interconnected with uh, the common input and output voltages here where the gain source terminals are interconnected here okay of these two transistors with this is the simple circuit diagram of a transmission gate okay so see here nmos gate control connected to uh, control signal phi uh, this gate uh, gate control is connected to control this phi okay. so the, here it is mentioned phi where pmos gate control connected to control phi bar that is complement of phi it is mentioned here okay source and drain shared between both the transistors so sharing means you could see here they are connected like this okay so that's why for both the transistors the source and drain terminals are getting shared Uh, to provide the input and output range of signals okay next is the working principle the transmission gate is controlled using two complementary signals as mentioned in this gate control of nmos and pmos that is phi and phi bar it acts as a closed switch that is in on state when uh, phi equal to 1 it turns on the nmos and phi bar equal to 0 it turns on the pmos it acts as an open switch off when phi equal to 0 that is nmos is off and phi bar equal to 1 that is pmos is off okay so this is the working principle next is nmos pass transistor behavior okay how it behaves let us see here uh, this is the circuit edge of this nmos pass transistor of the trans one part of a transmission gate the initial condition for this is output capacitor cl is discharged okay so output capacitor means means in the output side we are keeping one capacitor which is discharged so that is mentioned using this dotted lines and this is the ground voltage vss okay that is uh, discharge meaning is that the output voltage is nullified that is equal to 0 volt okay charging cl that is passing one through that cl okay it, it could be passing one by putting the value of the signal phi equal to 1 that is v in would be directly equal to vdd that is the current is flowing from v into vdd that is uh, nmos starts conducting current flows from left to right and charges the cl that is the current flow would be something like this okay the current flow would be completely uh, uh, flowing from left to right which means that the char it charges the capacitance cl that is it will be moving till the ground part okay as v out is equal to vdd minus vtn the nmos begins to turn off final output is equal to vdd minus vtn this means the logic 1 is degraded when passed through the nmos only transistor okay so this is basically charging part next is discharging if you want the charging is done if you want to discharge you should be making the value of phi equal to 1 and v in you should be making it equal to 0 v out is equal to vdd and the current would be flowing now from right to left that is from this path to here okay as v out is equal to as v out tends to 0 volt the current would be diminished final output is equal to zero logic zero passes clean okay so this is about charging and discharging of this nmos pass transistor behavior next is for pmos pass transistor behavior
the initial condition is the charging capacitance that is Cl is equal to 0 volt and uh, phi bar equal to 0. So, so this is the edge here with the transmission gate for PMOS. Okay. Charging Cl, the Cl charges up to VDD cleanly. Logic 1 passes cleanly. And for discharging, that is passing 0, you should be putting phi bar equal to 0, V in, now it is equal to 0 volt and V out equal to VD. The PMOS would be getting conducted. As V out tends to VTP, the PMOS starts turning off, which is resulting in the final output that would be equal to VTP. So, logic 0 is degraded and when passed through the PMOS only transistor. Okay, so these are the charging and discharging conditions for PMOS pass transistor behavior. So, combination of both, that is NMOS and PMOS, in the CMOS transmission gate, by combining both these NMOS and PMOS transistors, NMOS passes logic 0 cleanly and PMOS passes logic 1 cleanly. Together, they allow full voltage swing transmission from both logic 0 to logic 1. Voltage swing means charging and discharging will be taking place simultaneously by using the combination of both and NMOS and PMOS transistors. Okay. So, control signals you see here. To properly operate a transmission gate, two signals are needed. One is phi, which controls the NMOS, and phi bar controls the PMOS. It controls only when phi equal to 1 and phi bar equal to 0, that is, gate is on, it passes the signal, and phi equal to 0, phi bar equal to 1, the gate would be off the high impedance state. Okay. So, this was about the control signals. So, this is the table, comparison table here, which I have already discussed. Okay. Transmission characteristics of N channel and P channel pass transistor. Okay. So, this is the device column N and P. So, transmission of 1 for N type is poor. Transmission of 0, it is good. Similarly, for P type, it is good. And for 0, it is poor. Okay. So, these are the conditions here. You see here, for phi equal to 0, for phi equal to 0, N device is off, P device is off, V in equal to 0, V out equal to the impedance or high impedance state. V out would be in the high impedance state. When V in equal to 1, V out again would be in the high impedance state. When where Z refers to the high impedance state, which I already told you. When phi equal to 1, N device is on, P device is on, V in equal to 0, V out be equal to 0. And when V in equal to 1, V out would be equal to 1. So, the corresponding out characteristic plot is shown below here. Okay. So, let us see the characteristic plot now with these explanations. So, this graph on resistance R on of a CMOS transmission gate is mentioned here. So, let us see the explanation now. N device resistance, okay, that is this plot here. You see this plot. This is the plot of N device resistance and uh, P device resistance. So, this uh, downward plot is corresponding the P device resistance. Dotted curve, so this dotted curve you could see here, right? That is the transmission gate resistance plot. Okay, so this plot is the basic transmission gate resistance plot or the DC transfer curve of the transmission gate. It shows the combination of these two, both NMOS as well as PMOS resistances. Okay, so here is a structured detailed explanation of a latch up, which we are going to discuss in the next video. Okay, so this plot you should be knowing, you should be noting down very, 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 very important. Okay, this question is multiple times repeated in the previous papers, model papers about the transmission resistance gate characteristic plot. Okay, one question is fixed, guys. So that's why one separate video I've made in this. Okay, whatever explanation is provided in this notes which I have uh, displayed in this video, that only you learn, you would be easily getting around eight marks for this question. Okay. So, this notes, I am going to provide it in the description. Go and access it by subscribing it to our channel, hitting the bell icon and copy that link which is provided in the description to the browser and then try to open it by keeping one tab open in the recent, recent app. Okay. So, by that, you will be getting these notes. Access it. Study this question because this is a fixed question for 8 months. Okay. So, that's all for this video, guys. We have discussed the basic uh, transmission gate questions, input and output voltage uh, uh, differences, everything we have discussed. Till now, uh, please those who have not watched, skip some part of the video, go and watch this video till the end. So, support us, like, like this video, subscribe to our channel. So, we have left with only one more concept that we are going to see in the next video. Okay. So, that's all for this video guys. Thank you.